Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Souls of Heroes. Specifically, we're going to be doing the guide for the armor set. I'm almost complete. I only need three more pieces for the glow, the white glow for every class. So we'll talk about that uh, when we get to that point. But first and foremost, uh, if you guys appreciate the fact that I'm doing a guide for you guys, uh, it always helps to like, comment, subscribe. It really does motivate me. Not only that, I, just a friendly reminder that I do live stream on Twitch now. My All my socials on, are in the description below, but here is my actual Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash fixtony. Uh, I would very much appreciate if you guys checked out my stream. It's a lot of fun. Not only that, that's like the best way to actually talk to me. Or if you want to talk to me directly, uh, Twitter is also a great place. I know a lot of people don't like when people are, when YouTubers, content creators uh, plug themselves in the beginning, but it really does help. And it really does show us that you guys uh, at least care. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the guide. There's a few things different. First and foremost, this guide is going to be pertaining to all the classes. I usually uh, in the past would do one class for each uh, thing. The reason I'm changing it is because a lot of the Titans, Warlock, and Hunters uh, objectives are very similar with literally one of them just being different. That's really it. So don't be surprised of how I like write down the objectives because most of the time it's just going to be the same thing for everyone. It's just going to be like instead of solar orbs for, for Titans, uh, hunters have void orbs and you know uh, warlocks have arc 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 or uh, arc orbs so there's gonna be a few things that here are different if you guys have any co questions comments concerns anything just let me know in the comments below I'll be more than happy to answer anything you have because again I have already completed all of the armor already uh, my Titan was literally done in like an hour and my warlock was done in two hours mostly because of some things that happened and I was just fucking around a lot. But that being said, there's another thing that I must tell you. If you are thinking about running this in three characters, I will tell you this is the easiest we've ever had it for three characters, mostly because you get a modifier. So once you complete your first blue armor, your next blue armor is gonna be fast. You get like, a, what is it, times two. So let's say one kill, equals one kill for the blue armor before when you have that modifier it now equals to two kills so it and then when your third character it's three kills it's really good i highly recommend if you want if you're thinking about going for three characters it's so much easier than in the past i highly recommend it so with that out of the way let's talk about the actual armors themselves so first and foremost you're going to want to speak to eva levante once you speak to her, she's gonna give you a helmet. This helmet is literally the same for every class, only the blue armor, the purple armor obviously changes. But the blue armor is literally the same for every class, the helmet only. So I'm gonna tell you the, the blue armor. The blue armor is complete a run through the European aerial zone, collect elemental orbs, and then do 20 finishers. That's literally for every class. So once I start, or once I start saying like, the objectives for each class i'm not going to say the helmet because again it's literally the same for everyone i'll have it on the screen just just to be safe but I'm not going to say it so once you go to eva she's going to give you the helmet run an eaz real quick that's like the first thing you have to do once you complete the eaz go back to e eva eva's going to tell you to meditate in front of the statue uh, it's E on PC. I think it's square on PS4 and whatever square would be on Xbox. I don't know off the top of my head. I think it's X. Um, once, once you meditate, you're going to get the full armor set. And from here, it's, this is like the only part of the guide where I didn't have really much of a plan. I just really winged it. So for the hunters, the gauntlets are going to be complete a playlist activity, open 10 solstice packages, and then defeat 200 fallen. For the chess piece, it's going to be complete two public events, collect solar and stasis elemental orbs in playlist activities, and defeat 30 enemy guardians. For the boots, it's going to be complete a patrol, pick up 30 orbs of power, and then get 50 super kills. The cloak, it's going to be complete three lost sectors, pick up 100 void orbs around the world, and get 100 precision kills. For the Titan, it's going to be complete a playlist activity, 
open 10 solstice packages, defeat 200 hive. For the chess piece, it's going to be complete two public events, collect arc and stasis elemental orbs in playlist activities, and defeat 30 enemy guardians. For the boots, it's going to be complete a patrol, pick up 50 orbs of power, and then get 50 super kills. For the mark, it's going to be complete three lost sectors, pick up 100 solar orbs around the world, and then get 100 precision kills. For the Warlock, it's going to be complete a playlist activity, open 10 solstice packages, defeat 200 Cabal. For the chess piece, it's going to be complete two public events, collect void and stasis elemental orbs in playlist activities, and then defeat 30 enemy guardians. For the boots, it's going to be complete a patrol, pick up 50 orbs of power, and get 50 super kills. And last but not least, the bond is going to be complete three lost sectors, pick up 100 arc orbs around the world, and then get 100 precision kills so first thing first obviously the boots are the same as well it doesn't really matter at the end of the day but i will tell you guys that if you guys want to complete like a certain thing you have to read what it actually says uh for example collect void and stasis elemental orbs in playlist activities that is specific to only crucible van or yeah crucible vanguard and gambit so no, it, I know I said playlist activities, but it really means Vanguard, Crucible, or Gambit. It's unfortunate because I was hoping that it would work in Nightfall, so that way you can double dip on it, but you can't. Um, same thing with completed pl playlist activity. It's the same thing. So what I would recommend is run, run Crucible. Run Crucible. The best one would be to run a momentum control if you have it. If you don't run regular, it's not that big a deal. But momentum control is a lot of fun and it's quick. So for me, that's what I ran until I got the 30 enemy guardians defeated. Not only that, but I was also getting like the orbs of power, the super kills, stuff like that. You're going to want to double dip as much as you can uh, if you're trying to get this as fast as possible. If you're just chilling, then I mean, just run it however you want. But the way I ran it was i did pvp then i did some eaz stuff and then i went back to public patrols and stuff because you got to do lost sectors patrols two public events uh you also have to pick up uh, like orbs around the world which means not not in a playlist or anything so that was another thing that was kind of annoying but that was pretty much it the only reason it took so long is because of you have because of like the public events the stuff that you really have to wait for the 10 solstice packages were also annoying as hell the, def the defeat 200 enemies was not that hard it was more just annoying uh again you can just double dip as much as you as much as you can and you'll get this one done as soon as possible so the magnificent set is probably where people are going to kind of like get a little nervous because it does amp it up a little bit but let's talk about it so defeat five mini bosses in the european aerial zone before the boss is summoned three times collect 500 elemental orbs rapidly defeat 100 enemies if i remember correctly the helmet also doesn't change for everyone but whatever complete altar of sorrow on the moon or override missions 100 points obviously earn 20 elemental empowerment buffs kill 200 enemies with void weapons for the chess piece it's going to be complete blind well in the dreaming city or wrathborn hunts collect 50 soltis key fragments defeat 100 enemies with solar grenades for the boots it's going to be complete public events on europa or battlegrounds 100 points obviously collect 100 arc or stasis orbs in playlist activities defeat 50 enemies with a melee while using an arc subclass and last but not least cloak complete three competitive pvp matches or nightfall strikes collect 50 solar orbs in the eaz defeat 50 powerful cabal uh for the titan it's going to be literally the same thing for the helmet for the gauntlets it's going to be complete altar of sorrow on the moon or override missions earn 20 elemental empowerment buffs and then kill 200 enemies with solar weapons for the chest piece it's going to be complete blind will in the dreaming city or wrathborn hunts uh, collect 50 solstice key fragments, defeat 100 enemies with arc grenades. And for the boots, can be complete public events on Europa or battlegrounds. Collect 100 void or stasis orbs in playlist activities, defeat 50 enemies with a melee while using a void subclass. And for the mark, it's going to be complete the three competitive PvP matches or nightfall strikes. Collect 50 arc orbs in the EAZ and then defeat 50 powerful hive. And last but not least, 
for the helmet it's gonna literally gonna be the same thing gauntlets complete altar of sorrow on the moon or override missions earn 20 elemental empowerment buffs and kill 200 enemies with arc weapons for the chest piece it's gonna be complete blind wall in the dreaming city or wrathborn hunts collect 50 solstice key fragments defeat 100 enemies with void grenades for the boots it's gonna be complete public events on europa or battlegrounds collect 100 solar or stasis orbs in playlist activities defeat 50 enemies with a melee while using an un solar subclass and last but not least for the mark or rate bond it's going to be complete the three competitive pvp matches or nightfall strikes collect 50 void orbs in the eaz and defeat 50 powerful fallen so i know that i, I said a lot of shit right now but honestly the easiest way to do this and i'm not even i'm not even kidding like for me this was I, I had like 70% done when I was uh, when I was done with like the first run. So you're gonna want to go to the altar of sorrow on the moon. It's the easiest way to do it. Um, you you could do blind well. I just wouldn't recommend it. I think uh, altar of sorrow is just a lot better. Not only that, for my first run, I was just farming the new moon weapons. Uh, I was doing the mission or the bounties while I was doing uh, altar of sorrow, and. The percentages are pretty weird. Uh, if I remember correctly, it was like 5% per completion of one. So at the end of it, you'll probably have like 25% done. Again, that's not really your motivation. Your motivation is to really kill everything else. You know, like the, for my hunter specifically, I was killing enemies with void weapons. I was also using solar grenades. And then after it was done with the solar grenades, I was using the, the arcs melee so I can do that utilize as much as you can in this because i promise you if you really do well you'll be done with like parts of almost everything like the helmet it'll already be done with the collect 50 500 elemental orbs and rap rapidly defeating enemies that one's going to be done for the gauntlets uh you'll have a percentage done if if not you you might just have it all done if you if you did altar of sorrow that much the earn 20 elemental empowerment buffs you're gonna have it immediately and then again the kill 200 enemies with void weapons you'll definitely do that one as well gauntlets might actually be done if you farm it that hard for the chest piece obviously you're gonna have like the collect 50 solstice key fragments because you actually do get key fragments when you complete one of the uh activities and then defeat 100 enemies with solar grenades obviously you're gonna have that for the boots you're gonna complete the collect 100 arc or stasis orbs no not that one never mind because you have to be in the playlist for that one but defeat 50 enemies with a melee while using an arc subclass definitely gonna complete that one and then co collect 50 soul orbs no that's in the az powerful cabal no but if i remember correctly titans have powerful hives so you'll definitely complete that for your titan so by the end of it you'll have pretty much everything done the only things you're gonna have to do are the are the either the public events on europa or battlegrounds or blindwell or wrathborn hunts if you want to know my honest opinion don't do blindwell and you can do europa like the public events in europa it's going to be a little time consuming but if you don't want to run battlegrounds which is completely understandable uh europa public events are not that bad uh, blind well i just didn't want to run it because i i don't care about blind well that much and if you run blind or if you run the wrathborn hunt the like the hardest one where you you kill the actual like the boss i forgot what his name is once like the the one that gives you like uh good gear apparently if you complete that one it gives you 25 percent, like just off the bat and then after that it's like 25 20 percent each i think so for me i ended up just doing the these seasonal activities just because they were a lot faster in the long run because if you do blind well you're getting like five percent per per completion and honestly i just i don't i don't want to i don't want to run that shit the only reason i ran the altar of sorrow is because a i actually do enjoy it and b i was farming the new weapons i was farming the, the new shotgun and for me i was trying to get a specific role but then i found out that role doesn't exist on it anymore i was looking for a one-two punch so that's that's literally it uh run ultra of sorrow complete as much things as you can and then once you're done uh finish off the wrathborn hunt and the battlegrounds or the blind well and the public events if you want to do that and then after that then complete the european aerial zone stuff which is like defeat five mini bosses and the solar orbs in the eaz and then after that you'll be golden you'll be done 
Uh, again, each class can do this, and I did do it for each class. I think the most fun was Titan. The Titan was a lot of fun considering like I didn't have to worry about the defeat 50 powerful hive. I already did it. And overall, I just had a lot more fun with my Titan. Uh, my Warlock, it was pretty simple. I mean, honestly, it's not that hard. And then after that, I did the Nightfall Strikes, and then I had to do the Strikes specifically because the Nightfalls do does not count for the 100 Void or Stasis Orbs in playlist activities. So I did have to do a lot of things, but I think that would be the better way mostly because if you do Blind Well in public events, you're just going to be making it way longer than it really should be. And then last but not least, it's gonna be the Magnificent Armor Set. Thankfully, this all is not only shared progress, but it's only, it's li literally the same thing for each class. So I'm just gonna read it for for one. So for the helmet, it's gonna be complete a Nightfall on Master or Grandmaster. Gauntlets is gonna be complete any raid. Chest is gonna be complete any dungeon. Boots is gonna be defeat 15 champions or guardians in competitive crucible modes. And cloak is gonna, or your class ability or class item is gonna be complete legendary or master lost sectors. So this one, it's it's literally for everyone. Not only that, but let's say you complete you complete a raid today, right? The gauntlets is activated for everyone in, in all your classes, so you don't have to worry about doing it on each individual character because you just need to do it once. Not only that, I'm pretty thankful that they didn't give us another Trials of Osiris one because I hated that last year. So thank you, Bungie. Thank you so much for not doing that. And that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. This is definitely probably one of the easiest uh, sources of heroes I've ever done mostly because i ended up finishing this literally today like right now it's about to be eight o'clock in the morning i stayed up all night just because like i was like fuck it i'm i'm not sleepy at all and i killed like i started with finishing my hunter's uh magnificent armor or majestic which one is it majestic uh majestic what's it called yeah majestic i started the night with my finishing up my hunter's majestic armor and I completed the blue boots and cloak, and then I completed my my Titans blue armor, purple armor, and then got up to the majestic armor or the magnificent armor, and completed my blue armor and my purple armor to get up to the uh, majestic armor for my warlock as well, all in one night. I mean, obviously you don't have to go as hard as I did because obviously like I I did it so I can have this video up, but. It was not hard at all. I think the the biggest thing that people are gonna like really like be annoyed about is the first character. Their first character is gonna be annoying because you have to do everything. Like the defeat hundred enemies with arc grenades, you have to have a hundred enemies. But the good thing is, if you are looking to complete it on multiple characters, the number goes lower. So your second run, it's only gonna be fifty enemies, and then after that, it's gonna be even less than that, like twenty five or something so it's it's so much faster your third run it's not even funny guys like the only reason it took me two hours is because i was doing other stuff in the background like i was fucking around a lot but it would have taken me maybe like an hour if i was really going like ham on it because my titan i was i i completed it like within an hour and 30 minutes so with my warlock having even more progress towards that i i would have completed it way faster but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments below i didn't want to make three videos because honestly it would have been a waste uh, every class i literally did the same way um which is why i've been using multiple uh cuts of like my titan warlock and uh hunter because again i did the same thing for all the classes if you have any questions comments concerns let me know i can answer anything and everything for you uh this is literally an event that i do all the time i've ran it so many times and I, I can tell you without like without even thinking about it this year is probably the easiest you'll ever have it because it's it's wild how it was like year one and year two because not only did you have blue armor you had green armor so you started off with green armor then then uh then blue armor then purple armor and then after the purple armor, it got it. Like, so you have to do it four times. Now you only have to do it three times. And after your, your first character, it goes faster. So 
I highly recommend it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. I thank you all for coming up to this point, and I will see you guys later.